In this video, we're going to be factorising quadratic expressions. Um, we've got four different expressions here. Um, we're going to be using the same method throughout. However, each one is slightly different, um, and that's just something to be aware of. So if you look at the first one, we've got the B term and the C term. They're both positive. Um, in this one, the C term is negative. In this one, the B term, which is the middle one, and the C term, which is the last term, they're both negative. And in this one, um, only the B term is negative. So I'm going to show you how to factorise these. Um, looking at the first one, in this first one I'm going to do a grid method um, just to show you the idea behind it. So what we have is x squared, which is this one here, and we have um, 12 as the product of the two numbers. So we know that x times x will give us x squared, so that's going to be our, what's going to be in our brackets, and that's going to be the same for all uh, monic quadratics, which is what these are. So these are all monic quadratics. That's where the x squared coefficient, um, that's the one in front of the, the square term, there's no coefficient, so it's just 1. Um, and then the second bit is just to find we know that these two numbers here multiply to make 12, um, but they need to add to make 7. So the way that I do that normally is by writing out the factors of 12 and seeing which ones will add to make 7. Um, so for 1 and 12, that won't work. 2 and 6, they add to make 8. 3 and 4, those will work. And it doesn't matter which way around I put these. So we have x plus 3 and x plus 4. Um, just to show you that, it's going to give us 4x here and 3x there. So if we were to collect the like terms, we'd go back to this equation. But we don't need to. What we're actually trying to do is put them into brackets. So we're going to be left with x plus 4 and x plus 3. Um, I'm not going to draw the grid every time. Um, let's look at the second one. We've got a squared plus a minus 30. So a squared plus a and minus 30. So we need the factors of minus 30, two numbers that multiply to give minus 30, but add to give a. Um, if I was to draw the grid, what we'd see is that we have a squared here, and this one's minus 30. So these are both going to be a, um, but this one is minus 30. So if the product is negative, that means that uh, one of them is going to be negative and one of them is going to be positive. So we could say that this one's negative and this one's positive. So we're going to have two factors of 30 which will add or subtract to make um, 1, which is the coefficient of a. So two numbers that multiply to make this and add to make the coefficient, uh, which is positive 1 in this case. So we've got 1 and 30, that's not going to work, um, 2 and 15 will not work either, uh, 3 and 10, 10 minus 3 gives us 7, 4 doesn't work, 5 and 6, so 6 take away 5 is going to give us 1, so we're going to have positive 6 and minus 5. So in our brackets we've got a plus 6 and a minus 5. Uh, let's try the next two. Um, just going to take this down here. So, we're looking at questions three and four. Um, question three we have g squared minus 6g minus 16. So, again, in our brackets, we're going to have g and g. Um, looking at this, one of them is going to be negative, one of them is going to be positive. So I can put those in. And when we add those two numbers that multiply to make minus 16, we're going to get a negative 6. So they need to subtract to give negative 6. So 
um, if we write out the factors of 16, 1 and 16, 1 minus 16 will give us minus 15, that doesn't work, um, 2 and 8, um, 2 minus 8 will give us minus 6, so those are the two factors that we want, so g minus 8 and g plus 2. Um, and then the final one, uh, in this one, it's where the C term is positive, but the B term is negative. So we have Y and Y. But we can see that if this one's positive, then either both of them are positive or both of them are negative. Um, because this one's negative, if you added two numbers together, a positive number and a positive number, that should give us a positive product. So instead, we're going to have a negative and a negative which will give us a negative sum. So they're both going to be negative, and we need to find the two factors of 28 that will uh, subtract to give 11. So we got 1 and 28. That would give us minus 29. 2 and 14 would give us minus 16. Um, 3 isn't a factor of 28. 4 and 7, 4 minus... Minus 4 minus 7 would give us minus 11.